are ready for what we are about to discuss, which is relationships. Yes. <laughs> Personal issues. Yes. There we go. So for those of you who don't know, these are my two best friends, Amber and Mackenzie. Hello. And this is Lalu. She's going to join us as well for our girl talk. So we're going to get right into it. We did a Q&A on Instagram of, you know, questions that people wanted to know in regards to relationships. So we're just going to hop right on into it. So the question was, is it possible to have more than one true love? If so, what does one do if they are married and meet their one true love? So basically what I got from that is if you're already married and you're in love with the person you're married with and you're in love with somebody else, like, is it possible? So what do you think? If, I don't know about the marriage situation, <laughs> yeah. um, but I think as you're growing and evolving, and on your journey as an adult, yeah. um, you go through many different stages of yourself. So you'll right. have many different people that will you'll be in love with. You, yeah. you know, you find different qualities about people or about yourself, and you click. And but once you're married, ooh, it's a little difficult. That's dicey. I think, I think that becomes a question of like, do I really like this person? Am I in love and with them, or is this, you know, an infatuation? Yeah. Or, yeah. Am I just? Do I just really like them a lot? And what am I going through in my marriage to where I could even like somebody? Right. Yeah. If you're if you're like super happily married right. and also think you're in love with somebody else, that's a question. But if you're unhappily married, yeah, like, you, you allow yourself to yeah. be open. You, yeah. I feel like if you're happily married and you think you're in love with someone else or the person you were with before that person, you have to go off of are you in love with what they did for you, the lifestyle that you lived with them mm -hmm. and that you experienced, or are you genuinely in love with that person and who they were? Because oftentimes I feel like women be like, oh, I'm in love with him. Why? Because he buy you bags and heels and yeah. all of this. <laughs> like, mm. That's not or are you in love with him because he's intelligent, he's a go-getter, he's, you know, he's strong, he's... You know, all of these things. Everything that your man is not. It's right. Not like, <laughs> everything your <laughs> man is not. Like, so that's what it comes down to. Like, are you really in love, sis? Or are yeah. you just like the lifestyle? But it, and you can answer the question, so you can be in love with two different people. You right. Can. I feel like you can. It just depends on your situation. Everyone's situation is Absolutely. different. So you may think you're in love. Like, we all thought our first boyfriend's in high school. Oh, my God. Ray Davis and have two girlfriends. Okay. I mean, to each, to each their own relationship. You could do that yeah. if you feel if they might up to it. You know, it's as it's long as communicated. <laughs> yeah. As long as it's right. That was a keyword. Three relationships. So, okay, this is another really good question. So, did it stop working because you stopped being beneficial in the relationship, or it was times up and you were the official, like you were the girlfriend? Uh, I can speak to that. I think my relationship stopped working just because, you know, time is up. Right. After a certain point, like like Kenzie said earlier, you go through, you change, and people mm -hmm. change, and you grow apart, and you realize, mm, I really don't like the fact the person does that. You think you can put up with stuff, and then you realize that you can't put up with you it. You can't change mm -hmm. people, they have to change yeah. themselves. Yeah, so yeah. I think for me, I was both beneficial and uh, I was official. Right. So it's not, I right. think when you're official, you're also beneficial. Right. Mm -hmm. So... I yeah, I think mean? also like we've all been in a situation ship. Mm -hmm. We've all right. been the unofficial Woo! official. Mm -hmm. um, and you thought you were official, or you <laughs> and there's a happen to be another <laughs> official. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that later. So. Um, but I think I mean I've had I feel like I've had equal lines of both. You have the the times when you're just talking to somebody right. where you are beneficial for each other, and you realize like this is not a forever yeah. thing for me, right. like. And it fizzles out, yeah. um, or you have times where you are the official girlfriend, and you have to cut ties, and yeah. um, you yeah. know, and maybe maybe they have to cut ties with you sometimes. Yeah, I, but you know what? Yeah. And for a female, when you're in a relationship, it's pretty much over before it's over. Yeah. So you already yes. know, like, yeah. okay, yeah, in a couple. Female weeks. knows, <laughs> like they know, like you, you know, know it on. you ask your girls, okay, how am I? gonna break up with him and that is so, okay so I'm glad this all just flowed into that because <laughs> me personally I want to know how y'all go with about ending situations and relationships because me I don't like conflict <laughs> at so all <laughs> gee I don't like conflict 
So okay. I've done this to many people I dated sure. was in a relationship I'm with. Sure. First, I'm sorry. <laughs> Those people? Okay. <laughs> no, I so break your heart. <laughs> I I find myself, I found myself in every person I talk to, just I just will stop talking to you. I don't give you a reason why. Sure. I just stop because I don't like I don't like conflict. I hate when I, I don't like me. certain conflict. <laughs> and I know, and it's just like I wouldn't want that to happen to me. So why did I do it? So for those, it's many of you. That, well, not many. Not it's a many. few of you. I've done that too. I am sorry. Champion. So how do y'all go about like ending things when you know? Okay, this ain't for me. This ain't working. Or someone else came into the picture and it's just like, mm, let me go this route. Right. I'm a major curve. I do yeah. major curves. So I won't ignore you, <laughs> but I will curve the fuck out of you. Like, <laughs> like, you will say something, I will LOL. Ha ha, that shit never yeah. respond. Yeah, like, we'll see. Right? I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Like, I miss you. Oh. <laughs> like, okay. So, how's the weather? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't ghost, but I, right. I, I will literally keep small talk with you. And then okay. you say, like, Oh, can we go out? I'd be like, yeah, like we'll see about. Let me let me look yeah. at my schedule. I just never get back to you, yeah. but I'll keep responding if you like <laughs> text right. me back. Okay, what about you? Um, to end things, I feel like when girls always know, yeah, you know what time is up, and either yeah. you're just hoping that it's gonna continue and it's gonna, you know, things are gonna get better, yeah. or you know, yeah. um you'll you'll get over it or whatever right. or he'll get better or you get whatever um but it comes a point where like you you brought i feel like i always bring these things i give people chances i'm gonna mm -hmm. be like here's a manual on how to love the <laughs> yeah read it okay you can get that along, i made a video <laughs> like oh you didn't get that when i sent you a text message yeah. like i give you so many avenues right. and by that time you're just like you know i'm tired of right. telling you, like, yeah. this is obviously not It gets like, it's just too repetitive. Yeah. I've tried to um, have them think it was their idea to stop talking to me. Girl, right. <laughs> so that's a good one. What makes that's it be very, idea. like, I don't want to say manipulative, but we remember everything. Every conversation will pull up old texts. Like, I, I know I think deep into something when I'm just like, okay. What did you really mean by this? Let me like go back and reflect on other <laughs> conversations that we had because this ain't adding up. Like, mm -hmm. so, um, mm, so this is a good one. When to forgive cheating versus when to just let him go. Um, I think it's a situation. Like, what was it? Like, what was going on? Yeah, where were um, you at in your life? Yeah. It, it's a case by case situation because me personally, as me and my husband Raymond have talked in other videos, like he came out and said like he cheated, mm -hmm. and I just want one female, multiple, okay? <laughs> so and <laughs> it wasn't. Let me just put this out there because one of his friends joked like, "Oh, Rajay don't want to air her dirt. I cheated too, okay?" <laughs> I was like, "You ain't gonna cheat on me. Get away with it. I'm gonna get <laughs> you know, like no, I'm gonna because... enjoy you too." Any female or this for dudes, period. Yeah. If your girl forgive you really quick, she cheated on you. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, you that, takes while. While. that takes a while. <laughs> to forgive it takes, but while. it does. And it gets to the point where, so for me and Raymond personally, it got to where we got tired of lying. Like, it's only so much lying you can do. Mm -mm. I could not keep up. Like, that takes a lot. <laughs> I, I particularly remember, I'm like, okay, I'm done with him. I ain't talking to him no more. I'm about to prove it to you. I'm going to text him and tell him I ended it. I changed my best friend, my, my roommate at the time, Chrissy. I changed her name to the dude's name in my phone. Sent her the text. <laughs> and then I was using her phone to text me back. It made it seem like I ended it. And I just, like, just dumb stuff. Like, when you get to that point, that's how you right. know. Like, it's not even worth it. It's not worth it. We, want no, nobody yeah, at all. like it just so we had an honesty night cleared the air now we're married we forgave we <laughs> forgot mm -hmm. and you know we're we're doing this marriage thing but you know if you have to do all of that that goes back to the um the first question right. like, how do you know when it's over was it right. official or beneficial right, right. you have to do all of that it's over right, right. and yeah. forgiveness yeah. that goes a long way so it got to the point where you had to realize one why do I have trust issues? I didn't have trust issues just with this relationship. I've had them with other relationships. And where me does personally, that stem from? it stemmed from me not having a relationship with my father. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a good father figure. I mean, he was in my life, but wasn't in my life. For those of you who were who know 
or have went through that so and then you know your first love your first boyfriend your first everything in high school mm -hmm. me personally we were together forever <laughs> he I almost called him out his name he cheated on me <laughs> And had a baby on me, and just like from then on, I was just like, you know what? I, I hate them good. all. They're no right. good. They're not and, shit. You know, they still not just, shit. <laughs> you know, like so, you just gotta figure out where things are rooting from. You gotta get to the root, and you mm -hmm. gotta deal with that. You look inside in yourself. order. Yeah, you gotta do some self reflection for sure, and just. Can you honestly, like, you both have to be on the same page. Like, me and Raymond were both on the same page. Like, okay, we're about to do this, and we're about to do this right. All in. You know, like, if, like, there, we didn't have any more, like, hidden lies. Like, when I said that honesty night was something serious. Because <laughs> it was a lot I ain't know, and it was a lot he ain't know. We was just like, but when did you have the time to do that? I can't even tell. <laughs> I can't exactly. tell. We found it. It was so slick with it. <laughs> like, okay. So, I it just goes off of that. Like, do you really love the person? Do you see yourself, you know, working mm -hmm. it out? It's all on case by case situation. Like, mm -hmm. and the second so, you say you're going to forgive somebody, right? You and have to two, forgive. Yeah, you can't bring it back. Another thing, done. yeah, you can't bring it back. But another thing, if you're going to rekindle something, you have to show and prove to me that you're changing, mm -hmm. Raymond. His change was so drastic. I'm like, okay, he for real. Like, yeah, he let, it's all of us. He did. Like, it's time for me to be for real, for real. So, so it just it gets down to that. Like, if they're really changing, do you see that change? And you're like, okay, go from there. Mm -hmm. And then that's two. You don't. There's only certain people you allow to know what's going on in your relationship because yeah. if you tell everybody what's going on. Everyone's gonna mm -hmm. hate him. Yeah. Everyone's gonna be like, no girl, don't go back to him. Remember, they're gonna constantly remind you what yeah. he did. My friends did that. Who mm -hmm. child. It took a while for my friends to accept Raymond back. So it's just like I said, it just depends it's on the situation. It's easier to give someone advice than to take your own advice. Mm -hmm. right. so and to be a friend yeah. of the situation, Mm -hmm. You have to love your friend no matter what the decision and, is. Mm -hmm. Be there for them whether it's happiness mm -hmm. or to pick up the pieces. You have like as a friend, yep. be supportive and question. Yeah. But like above all, just love them. Like yeah. mm -hmm. that's their life. Mm -hmm. Be there regardless, sunshine or rain. Like yeah. be. so <laughs> I wanna we all like came up with different questions we wanted to ask and talk about. So we're gonna start down the line and go. Okay. So what is your question? So my go? question is, we always talk about like, ooh, this relationship taught me never do this. Mm -hmm. What is one thing about yourself in relationships that you would never want to change? So like personally, I when I like somebody, mm -hmm. I go all in. You do. Like she does. All the way in, yeah. and I'm like, it's no joke. Like yeah. I am a lover. I want to support you. I'm like I'm not holding yeah. back, right. and I, that will never change with me because I, I've tried with people multiple times. Mm -hmm. I will never look back and be like, what if, you right. know? So right. with me, I'm not gonna change how I love. Right. I might change how I approach it, mm -hmm. how I interview people, right? But I'm not gonna change how I love once I'm in. Um, me, y'all knew what Raymond put me through, and I put him through. I'm a big forgiver. Mm -hmm. Like I can, we're gonna talk it out. I'm gonna cuss you out and I'm gonna forgive you and we're just gonna move on. I never have had hate inside of me or built up inside of me for anyone. Even, mm -hmm. you know, the females that he cheated on me with, I reached out to them and was like, Shorty, I forgive you. Yeah. And people are like, what? Like, why that was dumb? And it's just like, I have to do that for me. It's not mm -hmm. about them, it's for me. I have to forgive people for myself because I refuse to live a life that. I'm always constantly hating someone. Yeah. Like, what What does that get me? What does that benefit me? It doesn't benefit me anything. Mm -hmm. Instead, you might call me crazy. <laughs> Girl, I'm gonna pray for you. Okay. I'm gonna pray you find you a man that's and leave true. mine alone. Yes, okay. ma'am. So, when you get to that point in your life, that's how you know you're really growing mm -hmm. and you don't necessarily have like just all this hate inside because it, it it's just. It's not good for anybody. It's not good for no. It makes you age quick, girl. We don't mm -hmm. need no wrinkles over here. Oh, no. Okay. So. Oh, what wouldn't I change about myself in the next relationship? I think I'm pretty open. You like, yeah, yeah, so um, I let it all out, kind of. Yeah. And I'm really silly. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm blunt. I'm yeah. so blunt. Yeah. And I don't, I'm not going to change that. If you do yeah. something, I'm going to definitely say something, whether you're uncomfortable or not, because right. I'm not uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. right. I'm not uncomfortable about calling you out. I don't think I'm going to change that either. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I'm, I've been told I'm kind of mean, so especially to, to do it's like I'm kind of rude. And <laughs> like, but it's like I have a smart mouth. I need a little bit really, of like, I'm, yeah. I'm a, the smartest mouth. It's yeah. so terrible, but it's not that bad. It's like right. disrespectful. So, right. you know, I'm not going to change that. Yeah. I think these are like three major parts of relationships. No. Like love, yeah. forgiveness, and communication. Yeah. yeah. No, for building for blocks. Sure. Like, like every single sure. relationship. Yeah. Um, Here we go. I have a question. Like, how do you all feel as far as like meeting someone through the internet and like mm. you know going <laughs> that route because let me tell you i'm not going into the story because i just told amber like i don't know if i'm ready that's for another video um, it's for another video <laughs> but i'm just gonna say i was catfished in high school and i'm gonna leave it at that Ooh. my friends in high school y'all know who y'all are y'all probably laughing right now because y'all was catfished too y'all was best friends with the uh, boy i thought i was a relationship uh, with so how do y'all feel about meeting someone online and then maybe possibly turning in it to something real something i met my past relationship was um, via Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then I dated someone via Instagram. They didn't even live here. So, mm -hmm. you know, as long as you know how um, you just make sure they are who they are. Like, right. they can't, they can't have only one right. photo. Right. right. You FaceTime me. FaceTime. FaceTime with that person like a number. week or two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Google numbers. Oh my God. That is horrible. <laughs> so. That's, yeah. That's a, uh, make sure they just. That's and they're not too they far Facebook, away too. You can like look yeah. at them and yeah. see who their mutual friends are and stuff. What about you? I I think meeting people online is fine. I feel like a majority of the people that I've met online have been, you know, somebody else's tagged friend. Like right. so you know right. they're real. Right. Like yeah. and it's so it's it's uh, I know somebody through somebody. Right. And you kinda you can background check through that. Uh -huh. Um but there's also been times, you know, you just meet somebody offline and then, but you, you meet them in person in a social situation. Right. Right. Exactly. So, you finally contact them. Yeah. yeah. And, but I wouldn't, I would advise probably not getting in too deep until you meet that person or have a good solid background check. Unless you're on Christian Mingle, I, I believe. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What's your question? Oh, I have, so... How do you ask a dude, what are we, without saying, what are we? <laughs> Woo! Okay. <laughs> Fireball. Right. So, um, hmm. Right. I, I would just say, like, I've been in that situation, and I'm just like, okay, what is this? Like, I just need to know for myself, <laughs> because if this is going nowhere, you have no intentions, baby. There are the people in line, and I will <laughs> tend to them. So, I mean, but if it's like, because I have found myself, you know, talking to some, initially we were friends and then it, you know, led to something else. And it was just mm -hmm. like, you kind of find yourself in like a gray area. Like, okay, we were friends. We still act like friends, but it's friends with benefits. So right. that can get very tricky and you don't want feelings to get hurt. So mm -hmm. it's just like, I feel like a conversation definitely needs to be had because mm -hmm. If you're both friends and you have that relationship, you can have that. that conversation. Just, I mean, look, you were blunt on this person, <laughs> yeah. right? Amber. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna just be like, um, excuse me, what is this? What, what are we doing? I'm here? always like, when I meet somebody, I'm always like, so what are you looking for? What are you yeah. like? Because yeah. I don't have time. Like, no, that's true. When I meet somebody, like, I'm getting old. Yeah. My clock is ticking. Okay. Um, and I feel like when I meet somebody. I don't have time to just be like, oh, like, see I'm happened. kicking it, yeah. like, whatever. No, I need to know kind of what you're looking for. Right. And if we're if we're looking for the same things, yeah. and that changes almost every day. Right. But, you know, it's yeah. like, then that's okay. And it, everybody to each their own. Do your thing, do your situation, but communicate yeah. so that nobody's feeling scared. No, hurt. for sure. But um, I'm a big, what are you looking for? Person. No, and that, that's important <laughs> to know. Like, going in, it, not even if it's friends with benefits, whatever the case may be, it, you need to know what the expectations are because when you find yourself in a, in a situation ship mm -hmm. that you can't control, and it's you're just deep. like, okay, mm -hmm. this is your fault. You knew this, that, and a third. So mm -hmm. I, uh, I think we should each end on some advice 
of like relationships. Yeah. So, um, anybody want to go first? Advice number one: dudes ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> there are good ones somewhere. Yeah. No. no. Just know people it, suck though. They yeah. not shit. <laughs> And it just depends on how much shit you want to put up with. <laughs> yes, I'd rather do with you and all your bullshit. Yeah, like so, y'all used to say. Um, me personally, because this was something I went through. Okay, in high school, I went through getting cheated on having a baby thing. I promised myself I would never put myself in that situation again. Mm-hmm. Ended up happening again. But also, too, make sure you know who you're dealing with because I've oftentimes found myself talking to, you know, someone who actually had a girlfriend. I had no idea. Right. So, you know, you just have to don't get too caught up or too involved. Like, make sure you are getting to know this person. Like, mm -hmm. you need, yeah, pace yourself. Don't just jump into it. And, you know, too, like, when you're young and dumb, like, you find yourself in, you know, the situation so mm -hmm. just making sure that you know who you're getting involved with so it doesn't end up being an issue later on or you know you get you know i don't want to say heartbroken but you just like dang yeah. i'm an idiot like, <laughs> like dang you, you yeah, feel like, stupid you yeah drinking. you feel very stupid like it's just like, you don't want to feel mm -hmm. feeling that way sucks so just know who you're dealing with yeah and being the emotional one yeah uh, my advice is to not be afraid of heartbreak because mm -hmm. You are going to get your heart broken. Yeah. Probably several times. It's a matter of time. Yes. And and let like the, the moment you don't get your heart broken, you're getting married. Yeah. Like your yeah. relationships are going to end. Don't be afraid mm -hmm. to go out and meet people. Yeah. Um, and continue to put yourself out there because there's a lot of things that you find out about yourself through heartbreak mm -hmm. um, and true. through relationships. Yeah. Relationships need to fail. Yeah. It's like the road yourself. to success. The yeah. road to mm -hmm. successful relationships yeah. is the same way. You've got is. to fail. It you allows you to right. change in a good way. Yes. Because if the relationship ended because of you, it's just like, dang, self-reflection. What can I do to mm -hmm. make my next relationship better? Or if the relationship ended because of the other person, it's like, okay, what traits and characteristics did they have that I did not like in that? What do you want out of a person? Yeah, you, so, like. yeah, you learn what you like and what you're willing to deal with and yeah. put up with. So, mm -hmm. um, goes back to what kind of shit you want to put up. Oh with? yes, man. Yes. <laughs> so that ends our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, comment down below, let us know what you all think, and. Lalu. Make sure you also hit that notification bell so you know every time we upload a video. And yeah, so we're just gonna, you know, peace out. <laughs> you know, thank you next. Thank you. Oh, well, I'm married. Y'all. Okay, thank, thank you. Yeah.